As for the next speaker, we shall call our club president to introduce our next speaker. Let's welcome President Pat. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. So today I'm going to introduce our next and our next speaker. Definitely not the least. Definitely. So his speech is on presentation mastery level five, project one. And it will take about 18 to 22 minutes. So timer, please take note. The title of his speech is entitled The Challenge of Transforming Lives and to be evaluated by DTM Les Aquino. Without further ado, please welcome our division director and of course our Stoast Master of the Day, DTM Ed Ramirez. Let's give him a warm up. Thank you very much, Madam President, <clears throat> fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, especially the guests. How many times have you shared your ideas with others? Lots of times, maybe. How many times have you been paid to share ideas with others? Not much? Well, how would you like to get paid and change the lives of others with the ideas that you preach? Sounds good, right? Well, I challenge you to become a transformational speaker. Now, a transformational speaker not the kind that just speaks for free, but the one who has earned the right to get paid to speak. And I believe everybody has that capability to become that kind of speaker. I remember long time ago, <clears throat> me and my son were relatively new in Toastmasters. And then my son wanted to become a transformational speaker. He created a project called uh, Change the Wor World One Burger at a Time. He shared this story to many people. He talked about the time when him and his girlfriend then didn't have that much money, but the little savings that they did, they put together, they bought burgers. No, not Jollibee burgers, not McDonald's burgers, angel burgers. Buy one, take one for 10 pesos only. Is that possible? <laughs> well, at the time, that's what he did. He bought every now and then he him and his girlfriend would buy lots of burgers. And from the morning till the evening, he'd give away a burger to the poor people. And he shared this story, challenging everybody, with or without money, you can change the, the world. Maybe not with great things, maybe even with just burgers. He mentioned that, in my, apart from his story, was that there was a time when they just had three burgers left and then they had to dispose of the burgers. He saw a family of three, gave the three burgers to them and the old lady said, do you know, Thank you for this because this is the only meal we've had the whole day. Think about that. Sharing a story to everybody that you can make a difference even with just for 10 pesos per burger. Oh, buy one, take one. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, 
who are we? Why do I say become transformational speakers? We're not the best speakers, right? Think, but think about this. There is a story from the Tibetan Book of the Dead. They say that long before we were born, there was a time when we were up there in the sky, in the clouds, and we saw civilization. We chose to come here. We chose everything that we have become right now. We have chosen to become Toastmasters long before we came here into this world. Yes, that's true. And we vowed to make a change in this world. And being a Toastmaster is part of the very tool that will create the change. How does that sound to you? That it's your destiny. It's your choice to be here, to transform lives, to make a difference in other people. <clears throat> You are the change that maybe other people have been longing for. Don't look left. Don't look right. Don't expect the government to be the change. You, my friend, could be that change. Maybe you're still skeptical. Maybe you're wondering, what if I don't want to be a change. What if I'm just uh, an introvert? I don't want to change. I don't want to, I just want to join Toastmasters. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, think about this. How many old people have you met who have regrets in their lives? You know, I have a grandfather who I was very close to. And as we spoke, you know, in his old days, probably the week before he passed away, he told me, Ed, you know, if I were to live my life all over again, maybe I would have helped other people more. Maybe I would have shared what I know rather than just be an ordinary introvert person. Think about that. Are you going to wait till you're old to regret not being able to change the world? There is a passage that is popular by David Thoreau. He said, most men lead lives of quiet desperation and go to the grave with the song still in them. Imagine coming into this world with a message to share, but you denied yourself of that opportunity by choosing to stay small, choosing to be an introvert. And later you take your gift to your grave. Do you do justice to yourself? Do you do justice to this world? Do you achieve your purpose? Be that transformational speaker. Stand up today. Make it your life's goal, your life's mission to change the world. There's nothing wrong with getting paid. With, if you're paid, you can advertise and be a Tony Robbins, be a Harv Ecker, be a John Maxwell, or whoever those gurus are. Now, maybe you're saying, I'm not like that. I'm not a guru. I don't have their thoughts. Well, 
let me share with you an idea. Your gift is unique to you. Don't expect to learn first Tony Robbins' messages, then be a copycat and share his messages. No, you have your own take, your own heart, your own voice. Here in Toastmasters, you've developed the skill. Now it's your challenge. Liberate the world with your ideas. Be that change. Don't copy others. Let them have their mess. You, your purpose is to shine. Being you. There's no other person like you. Just you. Your call is to really transform the world in your own very way. Now, <clears throat> I remember one of my favorite speeches is how I <clears throat> how I tried saving people's lives, those people who are just about to commit suicide. And guess what? Out of nowhere, I'm there as if I was put there to save, to catch somebody. So I was, I felt for a long time that I was like a catcher. And as I delivered this speech in a talk, I said, ladies and gentlemen, who knows you are catchers? This is my catcher story. I've mentioned my catcher. And out of nowhere, there was a, a gentleman. He was a law graduate, very respectable. And he stood up and he said, Ed, thank you for your message. I was about to commit suicide. I didn't know that I could help others too. Thank you for that. From here on, I'm going to make that mission to help others. Guess what? Last year, we saw each other in a religious meeting. He was still alive and said, you know, Ed, I'm going to, I really have the chance to be a speaker and I'm a Toastmaster and I'm going to really share my thoughts. That's my mission. And that really made me happy. <clears throat> you know, just recently, I got this quote from Marianne Williamson. You know, what she says really resonates with us. She said, we were born to manifest the glory of God. That is within us. It is not just in some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other per, others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So ladies and gentlemen, it's not just about you, but your light makes other people's light glow too. You influence others to radiate the same energy and they too can help others because in seeing you, you give others indirectly the permission to shine too. That's how you are a transformational speaker. And guess, it is no accident that you're here today. Your journey as a transformational speaker starts here in BF Community Toastmasters Club. It's your destiny why you're here. Who knows? 
a week or two or month or whatever, you may meet a situation where you feel so small, but you have to speak, whether it be in your family, at work, or in your community. The challenge is to share an idea that will open up the hearts of people and transform lives. Don't you think that you are here possibly because of that reason to be the catcher of others? I think you are. And being in this world is no accident. We, how many times we, have we heard that, that life is no accident? There's always a purpose in everything. Ladies and gentlemen, let me summarize the questions that we asked. Why us, right? Well, it's our destiny. We are the change that has to come here in this world, not tomorrow, today. That's it. Why not, why me? Well, why not you, right? You were not made to be Tony Robbins. You were not made to be a Superman. The world will be better even with you. I, I mentioned to my kids, you know, guys, I am no Superman. I'm a Tarzan. So if you are a Tarzan, just like me, most of the day, without even wearing a shirt at home, you know, but doing his best, well, I think the world needs somebody like you. And third, <clears throat> I don't have a message. Well, you do have a message, actually. You are unique and you have a gift. And please, don't take your message to the grave. Leave your message in the hearts of others. That's what your mission is. Your message doesn't belong to you. It was meant to be given. And believe me, the heavens sometimes has no way to give the message but through you in your simple way being the authentic person that you are not superman not batman but you <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters guests, my challenge for you, develop your speaking skills, reach out to the world, be the change that the world needs in these times. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. <clears throat> Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so that uh, wraps up our prepared speeches. The, the recent speech was really, uh, really difficult because it's 18 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Well, here in Toastmasters, we develop the skill to develop, to communicate effectively, even in longer speech uh, times, okay? <clears throat> that's why that's a challenge. We go through our pathways and then we're able to slowly build our level of communication, okay? I hope you enjoyed our prepared speeches, okay? <clears throat> so. Let's all give our prepared speeches a big round of applause, our speakers, I mean. <clears throat> <clears throat>